The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay. Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to have as our guest today at the break, Dr. David Paul. Tomorrow will be Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letters. And then on Thursday, we're going to have Bill Chapman of Trend Reaction. So we'll start out the show today like we usually do, looking at the European markets. As you can see, they've sold off uh, quite a bit, especially in the DAX and also in the FTSE. Uh, as Steve Rhodes mentioned, that uh, there were a lot of negative signals coming in on on uh, Tom DeMarc's uh, program. So it's going to be interesting to see if they keep uh, keep following through. Uh, I'm afraid I've lost uh, broadsword to Danny Boy. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Come in, Danny Boy. Come in, Danny Boy. Can you hear me? The chicken has landed. The eagle is in the pot. Uh-oh. We have lost uh, contact. Well, Marshall says he hears me, so I guess it's okay. Sorry. All right. Uh, evidently, I'm seeing I'm off the air, but right now uh, it looks like the um, Internet uh, didn't go off. And we, we lost electricity yesterday twice. Uh, we're getting ready for the monsoon season that starts here in a few. Well, let me see. It starts on the 15th. So uh, in about six days, the monsoon will be coming on. So, all right, folks, there's a couple of big things that happened last night that I think are important. And I'll try to give them to you one at a time. Let's first of all, before we do that, let's refresh which one of our uh, Folks, yesterday we were talking about looking at a particular pattern, and that was in Apple to sell it at 132.99. As you'll notice here, we did go up and we hit that. Uh, this is a four-hour chart. We did go up and complete that three drive to a top pattern. It's trading at oh, a couple bucks lower, about a buck and a half lower than that right now. So if you happen to have done that trade, I would put your stop. I would I would lower it from 336 down to uh, uh, 333. Uh, 20 so you don't risk more than 30 cents that's what I would do if you were in that and of course I'm trying to do risk averse trades as best I can so that's pretty much what I try to do Folks, when I worked on the floor of the, of the uh, Chicago Mercantile Change Exchange back in 1982, you know, I had been at Drexel where, you know, I started in 76, and we, we didn't really have charts, uh, starting to get charts like we get now until 1983, uh, because Tim Slater at CompuTrack, you know, he started bringing those out, and you could start to see that this was going to be a thing to, you know, that we could be able to work out of our homes, and that's why I went back there to see if I could, you know, uh, trade against the, the floor floor traders and also to see that your orders were really fair, that they didn't run stops and stuff like that. And frankly, they didn't. I, in the two and a half years I was there, I didn't see any of that. Uh, if you put your stop in too close, that's just because you put it too close. But uh, John Hill has a Hill's rule that put your stop in because no matter what's going to happen, they're going to get you on the high or low tick. So remind yourself that that's uh, very, very important to do. But what I what I have developed over the years is something that is relatively simple. I can't do the, the real complicated stuff. It, it just, uh, I, I know it makes sense to a lot of people, but I keep it as simple as possible, folks. I'm looking at patterns, and I know these patterns work more than they fail. The reason why I know that is Dr. Andrew Lowe in his book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street, he proved that mathematically. When that book first came out, the first thing I did was to get an autographed copy, and I got I was very excited, and I opened it up, and once I got past the preface, I was lost. I mean, these these formulas that these guys at MIT use are just absolutely, oh, my gosh. I mean, just absolutely amazing. And uh, I mean, it's way, way above my pay grade. So I called John and Howard Arrington up at Ensign, and I said, would you mind taking a look at this book? So I sent the book up to them, and uh, 
they came back with me in about two weeks and said, wow, they hadn't seen anything like this before that it made a you know a lot great deal of sense, but most people would not be able to understand it. And I felt pretty good with myself because I'm relatively normal. I'm within limits. And uh, so I, did, I said, well, I already know that they work because I've been using them for a long time. You know, I know that they don't work all the time, but they work some of the time. And that's what he said in the book. They repeat, they work. And they're predictable. Those are the three things that that I knew what was happening. It was because of that book that we get all these charts, and you know, Bloomberg and Financial Times and all the other places, CNBC. You know, that's that's where these come from. Is because people started to look at charts more now that that MIT gave it the the uh, the golden kiss more or less. So that's what I try to do. I keep it as simple as possible. Uh, the losses uh, they don't bother me because I just know that I'm that much closer to the next winning trade. I do have periods where I lose four, five, six, sometimes seven times in a row. But then I also have times where, you know, I'm golden, that I can't do anything wrong. And that's just the way it is. You just flip a coin and that's it. You know, even a coin toss, folks, is highly unpredictable. You think it's 50-50, but frankly, it isn't. You know, and that's what uh, that's how these people in Las Vegas make their money is by, you know, they understand gambling that if you play long enough and the odds are against you, you're going to lose. So if you're going to trade, what you have to do is two things. Get the odds in your favor, okay, and then try not to lose too much. Now, two ways that you can lose is, one, over trading. You know, if you're trading a one-minute chart or something like that. <laughs> Very good, Jay. Uh, but if you're trading a, you know, a one-minute chart, that's pretty hard to do. And over trading, you know, 10, 10, 15, 20 times a day, no one can keep that up. It's just, uh, it's just, touch, it's just an incredible uh, thing to try to do. It just can't. Uh, it, it, it just, just really, you can't do it. It's just. Uh, well, there may be some people that can, but frankly, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be one. Of, I've never been that way. I've never done any of those. Uh, those, uh, you know, scalping stuff like that. Even when I was on the floor of the exchange, I wanted to see how fair it was down there. And it was very fair. And it's still very fair. Right now, you guys are just like a floor trader because you're paying, what, four bucks, you know, four bucks for in and out trade. Usually you have instant access. You can see where you are. You know where your equity is within a penny. We didn't have that back in, uh, you know, the 82, 83, 84 area. You had to, you had to go upstairs and uh, you have to get a special printout of where the markets were to find out where you were so there's a lot of things going for you now that you that you have that uh, we didn't have back in those days but it's still it's really you can do it, but you've got to be able to develop something that you believe in, and it becomes yours, folks, because I can give you some ideas, but, you know, that's basically what they are. I, I know that they work, and I feel comfortable that they work, but that doesn't mean that uh, they're going to work for you, because until you make it your own, it's really not worth very much. You know, people can give you some ideas. You know, it's like giving the kid a Lego set. You don't know what he's going to do with it. You know, uh, Sarah has a six-year-old grandson that what he can do with Legos is unbelievable. It's just really, yes, A, B, C, D is what I basically do. As old Mark Douglas used to say, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. He used to come in every morning and talk about that, and that's what he did, A, B, C, D in the Treasury bonds. We're having a little bit of a rally in the bonds, much as expected, but I think it's going to be short-lived. I don't believe we're going to see long-term interest rates, but we'll have to find out. Now, when we get back from the break here, which will be coming up pretty soon, I want to cover the U.S. dollar because something big has happened there, and we want and we have to cover the stock market too. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner.
Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, Mr. Z is asking a question. Do we ever hold really long-term, multi-month positions? Uh, not really anymore, Mr. Z, and the reason why is twofold. One is I enjoy the trading part of it, and the second reason, which is more important, I have become risk-averse in my old age. As I reach that eighth year long pole, I know that I can carry myself to the end of the line, and I don't want to get into a situation where I get my opinion mixed up with what I'm supposed to be doing. I can see short term patterns very clearly. They all, they happen enough in all these markets that I'm able to pick a few wild hogs, uh, you know, acorns or stuff, or whatever you want to say, uh, to make a living off of it. And that's what I'm really trying to do. Uh, and most of you, uh, several people that, you know, surprised or that, or that subscribe to the 24-7 is, why have, not, have I not tried to, to pick a top in the S&P? Folks, I quit trying to pick that top when it went above 29.70 because I didn't know where it was going to go after that. And I still don't know where it's going. All I know is I got the first sell signal uh, in the stocks today. It's interesting that that's what uh, Steve Rhodes was talking about with uh, when he went over with Tom to Mark stuff. And, uh, you know, so whether that works or not, I don't know. But, you know, I'm willing to try it at that point. Right now, I'm at a break-even point, so I don't have to risk very much at all. But I, I really don't. It, in, 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 Z, you know this as well as anybody. In order to do a multi-phase uh, position like that you have to have patience because uh, you know you'll see the market go up and you'll see it give almost all of it back and you've got to stay with it the only person there were two people that i knew that could do that um, very three actually three there was the number one guy was of course uh, amos hostetter also <coughs> hold on one second <coughs> uh, hold 
<clears throat> the Super Traders Almanac. You know, Frank Tauscher was really good at it, and my very good friend Jay Cross, who worked with uh, Amos, were able to do that. But they only they only did those like twice a year. So what are you going to do during the time that you're not doing it? I mean, one of the things that Amos used to do was that when he was in a position, he would day trade pork bellies, and he was doing off of a ticker tape. You know, this was back when we had the ticker tapes going into the basket, and that's what he did. And you, and you ask him, what are you doing, Amos? He said, well, it keeps my mind off my cocoa position. And that's uh, pretty much the way it was. So that's the, that's the way it goes. Huh? That's one of the things you can do. All right. Um, okay, let's move on here. To Tom saying he has a new last name. All right, whatever that is. Um, a trend has a higher probability of continuing than reversal. You're absolutely right, Marshall. Things go up until they go down, and things go down until they go up. The cure for higher prices is higher prices, and the cure for lower prices is lower prices. That's the old law of supply and demand. All right. Now, we've talked about the crude oil. I just mentioned it up here. We've hit a 382 exactly in the heating oil, uh, almost into the gap area. It has now dropped 10 cents. Uh, a barrel from uh, 10 cents a gallon from that level. Uh, the crude oil also has gone up and made a three drive to a top pattern and has reversed. And both of those have given the same signal, like in the stock market, that yes, the trend most probably has changed. However, any move above those leg levels would suggest it's going to go a, hot le a lot higher and you don't want to stand in front of it. So that's the key to what you're watching here as you're watching these things. I want to share just a little bit about gold here because someone sent a real interesting chart uh, with is the ratio of the Dow to gold. I want to get this up here. Now, I don't do ratio trading. I bring this to your attention because it basically you can see the three drive to a top pattern where gold is lower, stocks higher, gold is lower, stocks higher. And you'll notice if we come down to this level right here, that's what I'd really like to see is that gold drop about three or four hundred dollars and get everybody bearish again because I think it has a really good chance long term. And remember, Folks, from our good friend uh, Bill Viridian, we do have a situation in gold where the month of June and month of July are the least positive. But, you know, sometimes those seasonals don't work. So that's the main thing to pay attention to. I, I was really thinking I was going to get filled on my, I have an order in to buy gold at 1660. And I looked like it was going to make it last night when we got to 1680. And then all of a sudden it jumped $42. So you just got to, you pay your money and take your choice. So you miss that one and move on to the next one. So that's the main Main thing that you you got to do is you got to find which trades that you can put on with a with a, a minimum amount of risk and with the best profit you can get. Try to get three to one. That's what you're always using. And if you do, you're using A B C D. That three to one is built right into it. So it's uh, it's a good thing to to learn how to do it is to try to follow those A B C D patterns because that's all these markets ever do. They go up, down, and sideways. And what you're trying to do is to pick. You know which one is going to be uh, the best. Now we do have something that we've been watching for quite some time, and this is this U.S. dollar index. I want to get this up here uh, so you can take a look at it. Uh, we've held that support now for three days in a row. We've started to move higher. Haven't moved a lot higher, but at least it started in the right direction. Now, if this pattern is correct, we will not go down below 96.30 again. But that should be it in the U.S. dollar index. Now, if we break that. That's telling us that that pattern is no longer valid, and we're most probably getting ready to look at something, you know, a whole lot different. But we're right at a major support area. Well, it's much better to buy it here at 96.30 than where it was back on March 23rd when it was trading at 103.80, and we were at a 1.618 expansion. That's what you don't want to do. So that's where the patterns come in. They give you amount uh, amount of money that you don't have to risk because once they go beyond these, you know, you're in unknown territory, especially when you go past 1.618 that's the that's the silliest one you know uh, so with that uh, see someone saying that nick laird i don't know who, who nick laird is but someone sent me the chart and it looked really interesting so i thought i would uh, bring it up and and let people look at it because we have a lot of people interested in gold i i don't look at the seasonals too much folks i i keep I, honest to goodness i really just keep this as simple as possible you know it just look at the patterns you know you if you, if you got a bar chart if prices are going up 
There's more buyers. If prices are going down, there's more sellers. That's the that's the bottom line of what you got to do. And you got to get right that that the main cycle that you're looking at is that nine inch cycle, the cycle between your left ear and your right ear. If you get that cycle right, the rest of it fits in real easily. And there's some days where you just come in and you just shouldn't trade. If you're too tired, if you're upset about something, do something else. You know, don't do revenge trading. I mean, my goodness, that's a you know that's a guaranteed recipe for disaster but if you're if you're trading in a in the moment and in the zone it's real easy you're flowing you put the trade on you don't look at what's going on because no one else cares what your position is and that's what you have to do the candlesticks help especially when you have old eyes you're able to count the bars but i could live just as easily with a new old bar chart i could very easily do that because the bar chart shows the opening price much better than the candlesticks do so but i stick with the candlestick because they're pretty and colorful and everybody Everybody likes to see him, and uh, that's pretty much why we're, we're looking at him. Now, at the break here, in a few minutes, we're going to have David Paul, uh, also a good friend. I've done some seminars with David and Tom Hugard, and he is one of Tom's uh, mentors, and I think it's his... Uh, you know, I think we'll enjoy it. Remember, it's easy as ABC. Yes, trading is simple, but it's not easy. And the reason why it's not easy is because you have to take the responsibility as Aretha Franklin used to. Oh, that was respect. Yeah. Responsibility is what you've got to take, folks. That's the main thing. R-E-S-P-O-N-D-I-C-T. Responsibility. We'll be right back with Dr. David Paul. Larry Pesavento watches the markets 24-7, and now is a great time to try out his daily trading service, Fibonacci 24-7. Larry publishes videos and charts for subscribers throughout the week when warranted, and every weekend he puts out a thorough report covering worldwide markets, futures, commodities, and currencies with Fibonacci retracement levels, possible trading setups and zones, and stops and targets for all recommendations included. Larry applies the principles he's developed Developed over decades of trading while analyzing a variety of markets for subscribers. To see for yourself the types of videos, charts, and analysis that Larry provides for his subscribers, sign up for Fibonacci 24-7 today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. You'll also gain instant access to Larry's archived subscriber webinar from earlier this year. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have David Paul from across the pond at the UK. David, how are you this morning? Yes, Larry, I'm great, sir. Yourself, I uh, hope it's a hope you're all well. Ah, there. still above ground, living the dream. Yes. <laughs> hey, what do you have for us today, my friend? Okay, well, uh, I just want to look at the uh, U.S. markets and uh, try and show you how we've uh, navigated these markets over the last little while. Uh, uh, and uh, markets are, uh, as I'm sure all your guests have said, markets are doing some very strange things. Uh, so uh, that is, uh, Larry, the uh, VectorVest composite of the USA, which is, as far as I know, the broadest measure of the American market that I know of. That's some 8,000 plus shares that we follow on the American bourses, and they're equally wow. weighted, sir, equally weighted. And uh, your Fibonacci levels, et cetera, work exceptionally well on them. Uh, uh, so that's the standard candlestick chart. Uh, and down below, we have a, 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 a momentum indicator known as the market timing indicator. And below that again, uh, the green line study is our proprietary buy-sell ratio, which uh, every night VectorVest puts a buy, sell, or hold to every share in the U.S. database. And we keep a tally of the number of shares on a buy divided by the number of shares on a sell as a measure of the breadth of the advance or the breadth of the decline. And um, uh, what's happened uh, is that uh, Based on the MTI and the buy-sell ratio, at, uh, during the course of March, we were in a mega, mega oversold situation. And now we have moved into uh, a mega overbought situation uh, a couple of months later. Uh, but uh, on this occasion, uh, the buy-sell ratio at 12.55 is higher than anybody at VectorVest ever seen before. So uh, we have a, a market uh, that is uh, much, much more than mega overbought. Now, uh, there's no divergence on the uh, MTI indicator, uh, so this thing uh, can keep going. But nevertheless, we're in a mega, mega, mega overbought situation. Uh, now, uh, the little red and the green triangles are our medium time market timing system. It's known as the DEW, and I'll spare you the acronym. Uh, but uh, that gave a buy signal uh, on the 6th of April, and this DEW signal, when it's preceded by a mega oversold or preceded by a mega overbought, produces an exceptionally good signal. Now, uh, uh, as you well know, I think, Larry, when it's time to buy, you won't want to. And when it's time to sell, you won't want to. But uh, this wasn't that easy. But I've been advising all our customers, certainly in the UK, uh, to to be buying into this market uh, from about the 6th of April. And that's what I've done myself. Uh, I, I've also been warning all our customers that if we do print a sell signal here, uh, from a mega overbought situation that that signal needs to be taken exceptionally seriously and that will precipitate, in my humble opinion, a very s strong and rapid uh, sell-off. So uh, uh, I'm currently still long of this position. Uh, I've been long, as I say, and added two positions on the way up, but I'm, I'm, I'm very, very nervous indeed. Uh, but I get nervous easily and my son tells me that I'm not happy unless I've got some Something to worry about. So maybe uh, I'm being on uh, worrying unnecessarily. Uh, this was a mega overbought situation here uh, in, um, in the middle of February. And as you can see, when we got the signal, uh, we got this uh, very sudden and fast decline. I think it's the second fastest uh, decline uh, in stock market history. So time to be uh, quite careful. Uh, I haven't uh, initiated any short positions. I'm very influenced, Larry, by the work of Sun Tzu. Have you read The Art of War? I'm sure you have. Uh, uh, he he uh, says that the, uh, the worst policy is to mount an attack on a walled city. If an impatient general besieges a walled city, he will lose a third of his troops. So uh, I shall allow the thing uh, to, in fact, uh, turn over. And then in the words of uh, 
William Gann, I shall sell the first falling top. Uh, so uh, this is, uh, again, the vector based composite, and it's sitting at 78%. As you know, well, I'm, I'm quite sure you know, the uh, S&P has gone through that 78%, uh, and we're sitting right at the 78% retracement of that sell-off uh, today. So uh, Mark was a little bit softer the last time I looked, uh, and I'm not quite sure how it's opened. Uh, but nevertheless, very, very mega overbought situation. The first signal that pre- uh, I believe it will have a, a sudden and a fairly sharp sell-off. So, uh, uh, at VectorVest, our edge, Larry, is to put together the fundamental position of a company with the technical position of a company. And what I've tried to do in this uh, very, very simple search uh, is to uh, VectorVest's proprietary uh, number for a trend the long-term trend is called the comfort index. So I've, on a scale between 0 and 2, above 1.2, the, this is a share that's trending strongly. And I've sorted all the shares by a combination of the comfort index and earnings growth rate. And that brings the shares with the best combination of trend and earnings growth to the top of the pile. I've also added, just asked for a 200 uh, uh 100,000 shares traded a day um, as defined by a 50-day moving average of volume so you can get in out of the things. And I did that on the 6th of April when we got that buy signal. And that's what that portfolio has done uh, in that time in the American market. The UK market, uh, not quite as strong, but nevertheless, it's doubled the performance of the FTSE 100. That portfolio is up 46% uh, in this uh, rally that we have had. Uh, Is it a new bull market? Is it a rally? I don't know. Uh, But nevertheless, uh, I've made my uh, uh, cut for the year in this particular run-up, and I'm sitting nervously now, uh, watching stop losses very carefully. And if one of those signals print, that DEW signal prints, then I shall be getting out of those. And then, of course, we say to ourselves, uh, what will we do? Uh, So the next step, of course, is to make some money on the way down. And we have lots of searches. My favorite is stinky stocks to sell short. And this, again, is shares with lousy fundamentals that are falling. And if they fall on the way up or flat on the way up, then uh, there's a good chance they're going to tank on the way down. And Mm -hmm. I ran that from that. uh, Let's go back. to the next slide, I've got uh, the uh, sale signal. That was on the 24th of February. And I've run that test from the 24th of February to the up signal on the 6th of April. And uh, that particular search, in this case, uh, clearly a a big red number is good. Uh, The uh, market fell uh, by 22% in that period. And that particular search is up 40% in that period. So we have lots of uh, short searches. That's the one that I've been using over the years. Uh, uh, So the objective uh, is if the general market is rising, I want to find shares uh, that are trending up uh, and I want to find shares that are growing earnings very strongly. Uh, Do my best to try and outperform the market and then on the way down, try and do my best to outperform the market on the way down by finding shares that are falling uh, with lousy fundamentals and that's what VectorVest is all about. So. David, uh, we have to take a break. Could you stay with us till after the break, please? I'm here, Larry. I'm here, sir. Thank you very much. We'll be right back with David Paul Hall, folks. 877. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today.
Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, we're back, folks, with uh, David Paul from the UK. David, we have a question from one of our listeners, and that is, sure. do you put all of these positions on at the same time, or are you scaling into those, or how, how do the orders work? I've uh, s scaled into most of those, Larry, from the uh, uh, from the seventh uh, of sixth uh, of April, should I say? The the signal printed on the sixth of April in the U.S. and the seventh of April in the U.S.A. So um, I scaled into those positions, and I added uh, last time I was on with you, I spoke about a, a Wyckoff setup uh, uh, called a spring, and uh, the market, in fact, gave us many many uh, Wyckoff springs on the way up, uh, and uh, uh, I've uh, had uh, uh, some uh, really, really good runs. To, uh, TTD have had a superb run in uh, recently uh, based off a Wyckoff Spring. So I certainly added to those on the way up. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, and uh, uh, on, uh, on the way down, although I've, I've illustrated that with 10 stocks, normally uh, on the short side, I'm happy with three or four, maybe five uh, positions on the short side. Uh, uh, so... Um, uh, uh, so at, at the moment, uh, I'm, uh, in my equity portfolio, I'm pretty much fully invested uh, and, uh, as I say, uh, watching very nervously. I see today uh, the market's opened up quite a bit weaker and for the first day in quite a few days, uh, if I go to the front page of VectorVest here, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but the, the number of declines, the first day in quite a while now, the number of declines significantly higher than the number of advances. So uh, uh, that is a bearish signal, although everything else is still positive on VectorVest. Uh, Short-term trend is up, the medium to uh, underlying trend is up, uh, and the longest measure of the trend using uh, used by investors is still up, but that's the first uh, v uh, sign of a turn that we've had in the program. That The Advances have been uh, much, much higher and the declines over the last two or three weeks that this is moving up. So, uh, and S&P sitting at 3,205, uh, clearly a big, big number that's incredibly important there. Uh, so, uh, I'm watching very carefully. Uh, but uh, still holding. I, I do my best to try and add in uh, uh, two positions as uh, the darn thing goes uh, uh, my way. Uh, 
clearly, uh, as I said earlier, uh, when it's the right time to buy, you won't want to. And that was a very difficult uh, time to be buying into markets down around there. But it's always like that. It's always like that. And uh, now when it's time to sell, it's going to be uh, quite difficult to sell up there as well because you're scared of missing out. Uh, nevertheless, uh, <laughs> That rally, uh, that rally uh, is going to make my uh, annual target, and uh, uh, I, I could quite easily sit and chill now for the rest of the summer. Except there's nowhere to go. This is the longest <laughs> I've been in one place in about 45 years, and there's moss starting yeah. to grow underneath my feet. Uh, so um, I should have been since the lockdown. I should have been in South Africa twice. I should have been in Canada once and North Carolina once. Uh, and uh, I've been, uh, I could be in worse places. I'm in Notting Hill here in West London, but uh, uh, I'm starting to. Oh, uh, Notting Hill. I love that movie. That's, uh, I love that movie with, uh, yeah. Well, I'm just, Julia just Roberts. It's one of my favorites. I'm just uh, around the corner wow. from. Uh, David, uh, could you tell us a little bit about uh, on the sequence of trading that you do? Do you run into periods where you have, uh, you know, trades go against you for like say two or three, four weeks at a time, and how do you handle that? Uh, well, uh, there's no doubt that this market has been really fast and quite exciting to be in because most of the positions have in fact uh, worked and worked very quickly indeed. That's unusual. In the run-up that we had, if you look at the left of this chart here, in the run-up that we had in January, February, where I was also long of the market, that wasn't the case. Uh, and uh, that uh, moves into the whole uh, issue of time stops in the market. Uh, uh, I was taught to trade first by uh, George Lane. I went on his three-day course. And old George oh, used to uh, coach a, a, a three-bar time stop. And if you were trading a daily chart, he used to say that the darn thing didn't move your way in three days, that you should run for cover. Uh, at the minute, in a stock, uh, there's a stock called AMD, and uh, I've been sweating in that stock, waiting for a breakout now for two or three weeks, and it's starting to become a bit painful. Uh, so I've been tempted. The, the target from the breakout is huge on the upside, uh, but it just doesn't want to break, and with this market starting to become uh, uh, quite mature. I think we're much, whatever happens today or this week, we're much nearer the end of this trend than we are the start of this trend. Uh, so I just need to cull that. I probably, uh, Larry, give them a little bit too much time. Uh, I probably give them too much time. Certainly in the stock market, uh, if the underlying trend, uh, if, the, if the general market is up and the fundamentals of the stock are good, uh, then I probably give them too much time. Uh, I, in the Forex market, where I also take some trades, uh, I'm, 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 I'm trading primarily there a four hour chart if um, if the uh, thing doesn't move my way in three or four or five bars i get out of it i have one trade in the forex market at the moment uh, i'm short the dollar long the japanese yen uh, and i have an order in to sell the pound against the dollar but I, it hasn't been filled as yet so uh looking forward to the forex market uh, I've missed out on a little bit, but I'm, 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 it looks to me as if the pound wants to fall and it looks to me as if the euro wants to fall and uh, uh, the dollar yen can go a long way yet. And uh, also the dollar against the Canadian looks as if uh, it wants to move uh, quite markedly. I haven't done anything in that as yet. Uh, in the equity market, ten, if the fundamentals of the share are good, uh, if it's above, uh, if the uh, underlying trend of the market is defined by my simple red and green uh, triangles is good, then I probably uh, err on uh, giving them a little bit more time than maybe I should. I, I don't know if I've answered that well or not, but that's that's what I do. Yes, you did. You certainly did. David, how would the folks reach you if they were interested in, uh, in looking well, at the uh, vector vest well, for themselves? Well, how does that work? If you go to vectorvest.com uh, and there's a risk-free trial there, it's a 30-day trial uh, and you can test out all those searches. A uh, 30-day trial is uh, $9 uh, and, uh, uh, and that Vectorvest, when you take that trial, you can get in touch with me anytime. Uh, I run weekly webcasts on how to actually make the thing work. Uh, uh, Vectorvest is a conservative method of outperforming the market when the market is rising 
and also outperforming a market when the market is falling. If you've got the stomach to sell something you haven't got, uh, and uh, there's no doubt that the short <laughs> side takes a, the short side is different. When I speak to a room of new people, Larry, uh, they they make the assumption that if you can make money in the way up, you must be able to make money in the way down. But I've always found that you've got to be better on the short side, and certainly in London, uh, in the, on the short side of the stock market, you're competing against completely different people you're competing against professionals mm -hmm. and uh, I see uh, I uh, it's vectorvest.com if you're in the UK if you click on vectorvest.com that automatically takes you to vectorvest.co.uk but uh, if you're in the US vectorvest.com then the top right corner you're going to see risk-free trial and uh, uh, nine dollars and you can try it for 30 days if it's if it works great if it doesn't work we shall remain can friends they, uh, can Hey, listen, can you split that $9 into three equal payments? Uh, for you. We'll be right for back, you, folks. Eight. <laughs> Thank for you for you. joining us, David. We'll have you on again soon, my friend. Stay Good safe. Time. God bless. Bye-bye. Back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of tfnn.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Bam! If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, we're again, we're having a bifurcated market, as uh, Basil likes to talk about. We've got the Dow down, the S&P down, and we got the old NASDAQ about four points from making another all-time high up there at 99.09, only 10 points from where we are right now. So uh, whether that continues on or not, we'll have to wait and see. But the Dow and the S&P have sold off just a little bit. Uh, whenever this thing does turn, and I'm not sure when that is going to be, it is going to be very volatile, folks. Folks, that is one thing we can almost guarantee because the volatility index, believe it or not, has gone up the last two days with the market getting hit 1,100 points, well, 1,000 points on one day and 490 points on the next day, and the volatility index is going, which means they're expecting more volatility. That's what that means. And so that's what we're probably going to be seeing is more volatility. So watch that. Also, we just made a new high in the NASDAQ just now as we speak at 99.10. We've already sold off 10 points from that level, so uh, we did complete that. Now let's just look and see if that happens to be a, a three-drive pattern we can get that up here. It's not as symmetrical as we like. Oh, yeah, it is pretty symmetrical after all. Let's take a quick look at the. Hey, this is not for the faint of heart, folks. Believe me, this NASDAQ is makes pork bellies look like uh, Mother Teresa's uh, chicken soup. But you'll see here, uh, that's not a very good analogy, but you'll notice from the high that we made yesterday, this is just a 15-minute chart. Those are equal. And you'll notice that 103 levels means that we did exceed the high of yesterday. And so that's important. Remember, we came down. Look, we stopped exactly at the 61% retracement today, early in the middle of the night. Right there. Look at that. We stayed there for well over two and a half hours, and then you go up and make a new high, and we're continuing to make new highs. So uh, that doesn't mean it's going to turn from here. It just means that it's made a potential for a triple top. Now, if the market gets above 99.20, that would tell you that it's most probably has going to continue higher and maybe make an even higher ABCD, and it might pull the rest of the market up. All those are mites. And could be. Woulda, coulda, and shoulda. Your three favorite cousins, and you've got to decide which one you're going to invite to dinner. And you're the one that decides the responsibility, where they're going to sit on the table, and how much they're going to eat. So don't let them take all the hors d'oeuvres themselves, folks. You've got to be very, very careful in these days, and you stop. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. We have our good man, Stan Harley, of the Harley Stock Market Letter tomorrow, which always got some good stuff. And Stan remains bearish, even though the NASDAQ is just made a new eye.